Hello friends, back to problem analysis. It's me Jaseem. If you are interested in problem solving and if you know the basic geometry, properties of touching circles and the cosine rule of triangles, then here is an interesting problem. A heart shape is constructed using a square and two semicircles. A circle is circumscribed over the heart shape such that the circle is touching the heart shape at three points. The area of this circle is given as pi square units. Then my problem is, what is the area of this heart shape? If you want to attempt the problem, pause the video and just give a try. And the solution is right here. First, we have to analyze what are given in the problem. First of all, the heart shape is constructed using one square and two semicircles. Secondly, the circumscribed circle has area pi square units. And finally, the bottom corner of the square and the semicircles are touching the circle. Now remember what is our aim of this problem. It is nothing but to find the area of the heart shape. This is the structure of our problem. So, always keep in mind. In our diagram, consider the heart shape. For the semicircles, let the radius be r. Then, for the square, the side length is 2r. And the area of the heart shape will be sum of areas of the square and the two semicircles. Note that the two semicircles together form a complete circle with radius r. Therefore, area of the square is 4r square and area of the circle is pi r square. Hence, area of the heart shape will be 4r square plus pi r square equal to 4 plus pi times r square. Then, our aim is to find the value of r. Now, check for any numerical data which are immediate from the given information. It is given that the area of the circumscribed circle is pi square units. Suppose the radius is a, then area is pi a square which is equal to pi, that is a square equal to 1 and hence radius a equal to 1 unit. Now we have to note an important property of touching circles. Consider two circles touching each other at some point externally. Then the fact is the centers of the circles and the touching point are collinear. Now if the circles are touching internally, that is, one circle is contained inside another circle, then also the result is true. That is, centers of the circles and the touching point are collinear. Now, coming back to the figure, out of the two semicircles, consider one complete circle. Then, this circle and the outer circle are touching circles. So, if we mark the centers of them and the touching point, then by the fact we told, they are collinear. Now, this line segment is actually a radius of the outer circle, which we have one unit. And the radius of the inner circle is r. Then, this line segment has length 1 minus r. Now, coming back to the figure, consider the diameter of the outer circle, which symmetrically cut the figure. Compare it with the square in the heart shape. So, this portion inside the heart shape is actually one diagonal of the square. But we have side length of the square is 2r. Then the diagonal length will be 2 root 2r. Since the radius of the outer circle is 1 unit, then the remaining part will be 2 root 2r minus 1. Now in the actual figure, consider the semicircular part. Then this length is a radius of it which is equal to r. Now in this figure, we got a triangle with side lengths are in terms of r. Consider this top angle. Comparing with the square, we can see that this angle is made by the diagonal of the square. So it is 45 degree. Now come back to the diagram and consider this triangle alone. In order to find the value of r, we need to note an important rule in geometry. It is called cosine rule or also known as Alkashi's rule. For that, consider a triangle. Suppose the three angles are denoted by 
alpha, beta and gamma. The side opposite to angle alpha is denoted by A, side opposite to angle beta is B and the side opposite to angle gamma is C. Then the cosine rule formula is cos alpha equal to b square plus c square minus a square whole divided by 2bc. Similarly, for the remaining angles, the formulas are like this. These formulas can be used to find the angles of a triangle when sides are given. Now, in the triangle of our problem, we can apply this formula, where alpha equal to 45 degree and opposite side A equal to 1 minus R. The sides B and C can be any of the remaining sides. So in particular, I am taking B equal to R and C equal to 2 root 2 R minus 1. Then by substitution, we get cos 45 equal to R square plus 2 root 2 R minus 1 whole square minus 1 minus R whole square whole divided by 2 R into 2 root 2 R minus 1. Now in this equation, cos 45 is a standard trigonometric value, which is equal to 1 by root 2. Now expand the bracket and cancel like terms with opposite signs. Finally, we get this expression. Cancel 2R from numerator and denominator and simplify the equation, which gives 2 root 2 R minus 1 equal to 4 root 2 R minus 4 plus root 2. That implies the value of r equal to 3 minus root 2 divided by 2 root 2, which is approximately equal to 0 0.56066 units. That's it. We already have the area of the heart shape is 4 plus pi into r square and we got r equal to 3 minus root 2 divided by 2 root 2. Substitute and simplify. That gives area equal to 1 by 8 into 4 plus pi into 11 minus 6 root 2 square units, which is approximately equal to 2.244887 square units. And that is the solution we are looking for. And that's all about this video. My Gmail ID and Instagram ID are given in the description. So if you have any queries regarding the subject, please feel free to contact. Thank you so much for watching. Meet you in the next video with another interesting problem.